in these problems, we need to find the value of uh, some trig ratios. So sine, cosine, maybe some other ones um, for particular points on the unit circle. So we have coordinates of the terminal point, and they're not the special angles that we're used to. These are not the values for pi over 4 or, or pi over 2 or pi over 6. So how do we go about doing this? Well, if you're being asked to find just the, the sine or the cosine, it's pretty easy. The sine is the y-coordinate, and the cosine is the x-coordinate. So that's not too tough. If you want to find the tangent, it's the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. And then, of course, we have these other trig ratios here. So the cosecant is 1 over the sine, so that's just going to be 1 over y. Take the reciprocal of, of y. The sequent, secant is 1 over the cosine, so the, the reciprocal of the cosine, and the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent. So these relationships are ones you're going to want to have handy. You might want to keep this little chart for your notes. In this problem, we're given this point, negative square root of 5 over 3, uh, 2 thirds, and we want to find the sine, the tangent, and the secant. So let's see how that goes. Sine is easy. Sine is just the y value. So the sine of theta is two-thirds. Not too tough there. Let's try the tangent. So the tangent of theta is y over x, this, the, the uh, sine over the cosine. So we're going to get a complex fraction here. So that equals two-thirds over negative square root of five-thirds. So let's see if we can simplify this. I'm going to multiply both sides by three or both the top and the bottom by 3. So I'm really multiplying this big fraction by 3 over 3. What that does is cancel this and this. So that gives us 2 over negative square root of 5. I can't really give this as an answer because we've got um, a, a radical in the denominator. So I'm going to rationalize that by multiplying by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. On the bottom, we're going to get 5. This negative sign can come out front and be the whole thing, so a negative. And on the bottom, we're going to get 5. On the top, we're going to get 2 times the square root of 5. So that's our an answer for tangent of theta. And let's try the secant. So the secant is 1 over the cosine, so 1 over x. So the secant of theta is 1 over negative square root of 5 thirds, which is the same thing as just flipping this fraction upside down. So I can write this as negative 3 over the square root of 5. Again, we'll need to rationalize that denominator. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. So we're going to get a negative. On the top, we're going to get 3 times the square root of 5. And on the bottom, we're going to get 5. And there's our secant of theta. So that's how to find the trig ratios uh, from a point on the unit circle.